Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are really excited to bring, well we, me, I, the channel, is very excited to bring you this one. Also a couple of quick little things. Shout out to everyone, we've hit 5k, you know what that means. It is time for me to buy a webcam. Now I gotta find a webcam. So, uh, gonna be a bit, but once I get a webcam, we're gonna be all good to roll. So, webcam will be, uh, ava or not available, but will be part of future streams. And, um, yeah, so, should be kind of fun. Anyway, uh, so yeah, thanks to that. And then, um, I was supposed to do a collection review at 5,000, but, uh, I can show you right now why that hasn't happened yet. And it has all to do with the lots and lots of boxes. Way too many boxes. So you can see why it would be trouble. So as soon as I can get these all back out, or at least what I plan to keep back out of their boxes, I 100% will be doing one of those. Uh, but, again, shout out to everyone. We've hit the milestone. Now, it's time to get into this review. And this is Kyle Bush's 2022 Bristol Dirt Race win. This is a highly anticipated uh, new arrival. This one was very, very popular. Um, I don't believe you can find these at all anymore. I had trouble getting a hold of a couple, um, and so I was able to fulfill all the pre-orders and everything, but then I had none left, and so I had to go back out and get another one. Um, so yes, I do have this one, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at it here. So Starting with our box, we have our standard Elite box uh, underneath, but then we do have our race win sleeve here. So race win sleeve for the Cup Series 2022 season. And our production quantity is 716. So decent amount of Elites, honestly. The 716 is a high number, but um, I would not be surprised if it gets hard to find just because it was his last win in the 18 car. So who knows? Not really sure. We'll start with the inserts that come with it. We do have uh, Kyle Busch, Food City Dirt Race uh, winner, April 17th. 2022 Easter weekend and we go to the back here time of the race three hours 34 minutes start at 11th 250 total laps uh 14 cautions for 82 laps oh my gosh 82 laps of yellow that's so crazy um led one lap and one by three tenths of a second obviously most of us remember this from the Kyle or the Tyler Reddick and Chase Briscoe situation um where Chase Briscoe just yellowed it and just wiped out Reddick um you know I understand he didn't intend to wipe out Reddick, but let's be completely honest, guys. That was a really talentless move. Like, it was just kind of stupid. Uh, but that being said, I'm not going to complain. Kyle Busch got the win, and frankly, it just it's one of those examples that Kyle Busch, no matter what surface at Bristol, he's up front. It does come with this as well. It was his 60th career cup win, so you get a Kyle Busch 60 career cup win sticker there. And we also have our regular Cup Series race win sticker here. And just for fun, uh, I don't know if these are still available. I don't think they are, but I did pick up the Food City Dirt Race pin to go along with this one. So anytime I can get a pin alongside the car, I always like to have that. But let's go ahead and get nice and close to this car because it is a neat one. So we'll start on the left side. This one is called the M&M's Crunchy Cookie Paint Scheme. It is a kind of bright baby blue colored car. Yellow M&M, green M&M there. There we go. So here you can see a lot of the Tennessee clay there. You can see all the dirt right down there and then up there in the grill opening. Uh, along the nose, you can see it's kind of dirty, but it's not like super um, It's not like super caked on there. It's just kind of got a layer of dust that's sort of just stuck there. You can see a couple of wheel marks in there. You can see there's no Goodyear lettering left on that one or this one, so had some contact to the side. But unfortunately, with the way these fenders are flared, all the contact goes to literally the tire and then this little mark there. And uh, I don't even think there is any on this side, but you can see, yeah, right there, right there under the exhaust, you can kind of see a little bit of that dirt smeared, that's I think also from a tire rub, but basically these cars, unfortunately, because of the way they are designed, you don't get the tire marks on the door, um, which is a bummer, because it is kind of nice to have a donut mark on the door and stuff like that, I've always thought those look cool. Uh, in the raced versions, and so unfortunately we don't have that here, but we are missing the Goodyear lettering. Uh, we will look underneath here, you can see the dirt tire, uh, which is pretty cool because they last year they just used dirt tread um, on the tire. This is a legit dirt tire, like it actually has the correct style tread. Uh, I'd be very interested to see if they do the same thing on the rain tire, if they happen to have, um, you know, the correct tread style for it. Um, 
because I think it would be pretty darn cool. Uh, we got Rowdy up there on the name rail. You can see on the roof, we've got a couple of packs of M&Ms. got some in there with the blue, some in yellow. You can see a couple on the deck lid in blue as well. So we do have a decent amount of them on there. Um, you can see the cool thing I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with is the little mark on the, ins on the middle nut. You can see those little M&Ms. I don't know if you can see them. They're on the center nut. They're the single lug for the wheel. You can see there's a little M. It looks like an E. Now it looks like an M. But you can see it's a little M. So I, I'm really glad they added that detail. I think that really, really makes me a little happier to get these uh, raced versions because I wasn't sure if they were going to continue to do wheel and tire detail. Um, tire detail was a little easier. But I was definitely worried about the wheel detail, but they did add at least that, so there's definitely hope for it. Uh, you can see we do have this tall black spoiler here on the back with the clear tip to it, all the little rivets along it too. Spoiler definitely, again, still needs to be shortened up. It's a little, little shorter than before, but man, it's still, I'm telling you, this spoiler needs to be shorter. This is something that has to get dealt with. They kept saying they're going to correct the spoiler height. It's going to have the correct spoiler height. They just said it over and over and over and over and over again. I'm still nervous because here we are, and that spoiler height's still pretty tall. Mm, there we go. Here you can see the DIN number 106, Kyle Bush on the rear window. Then a bunch of sponsors here on the deck lid. We've got Food City here on the back of the car along with our diffuser. We'll go ahead and pop open the deck lid and see the fuel cell, but you can't really see much of it because the deck lid is so darn tiny. It is weird that the deck lid actually sits down inside the rear panel i think that's probably the biggest reason you can't see anything but that's just part of the next gen design uh like i said on the roof we do have those m&m packs also all the m&ms lining the back of the roof uh there you can see the roof flaps popping open and this is the last race win diecast with the m&m sponsor on it which is just i don't know bummed out a little bit um going to the right side though we do have a little bit of dirt there along the right rear corner panel you can see some scrapes here and some scuffs uh, this one does still have some of the good year lettering on it trd there there you go. there's the red m&m breaking a cookie apart and then the blue M&M with the number in front of it. Um, I still hate the number location. I ain't going to go into rant today about that, though. I've ranted about that enough. Uh, you can see a tire mark there. You can see the mark for the jack. Exhaust there. Uh, you can see this Goodyear lettering is also rubbed off. A little bit of, I guess there's a little bit of the Goodyear Eagle left, but not a ton. Uh, as you get back around to the front, you can see we do have a little bit of dirt on that right front corner. Uh, and then, as I said, there is some pretty heavy clay down there on the splitter. Um, you can see we got the two vents on the hood. Those are the little air pockets that they have. Not pockets, but they're air, air vents for um, to kind of introduce some drag to the car. You can see on the uh, windshield here, we got Kyle Busch. We got the air vent, Toyota, and then all the little peel-offs there. You can see, look at all the layers for uh, tear-offs they had for the dirt. Tons of tear-off options for these guys. Uh, they definitely wanted to make sure they could see, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, under the car, like I said, we do have the uh, the, t the right tire tread, uh, so we also have the functioning rear and front suspension, as it is an Elite, so it is the metal chassis, heavier version. Uh, that's obvious by the deck lid, but just for those who don't know or maybe are new to this, uh, we go ahead and pop this open. You can see the r bright red valve covers, um, then also the air filter container there, but other than that, it is really hard to see any engine detail without taking out this bottom plate. It does have all the exhaust pipes and stuff that are run through there, unfortunately, it's just really tough to see. You really can't see down in there. You really can't see much. So it does make it a little tough to get in there and actually see all the engine detail because there's there's not much to begin with. And then the little bit there are, they're, they're you know, kind of missing some stuff. So um, overall, this is, I think, going to be one of the better race wins from this season. I definitely, I mean, it's already really hard to find. So if you can find one at regular price, I would grab that up as fast as possible. Um, because like I said, I, I had to go get this on the secondary market just cause I couldn't, um, uh, couldn't get enough in to, to fill all the orders. So, um, so yeah, definitely recommend picking these up. Um, I don't have any pins unfortunately, but I think it's just a cool kind of end of an era thing. Last win, Kyle Busch and Joe Gibbs racing last win, win for the M&M's car. Just kind of a lot of different things that are kind of neat with that. So I don't know. I think it's pretty 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 it's a pretty good car and i think it's going to be a very popular car long term so uh anyway guys let me know your thoughts on this car in the comments below also turn on the bell and subscribe all that fun junk uh thank you guys again we hit 5k so the webcam's coming we'll we'll get one figured out i gotta do some research make sure i buy a good webcam um but yeah we'll have a webcam coming for the one of the future streams and then i'll have to start putting together something so that i can uh put my pretty little face on uh, on the stream. So <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Race Craze, and we will see you in the next Diecast Review.